Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com and in today's video we're going to show you how to give your t-shirt designs a vintage and worn effect and then do color separations on those designs. Um, I've got a PNG opened up here that we're going to work with and uh, the first thing I want to do is add a new layer. So I've got the layers panel open, click new layer. We'll drag that be, uh, below the design. And now I want to fill this layer with the uh, the color of the shirt. Uh, let's say we're printing on a black shirt, so uh, let's fill this with black. Uh, looks like my foreground color is green and the background color is red. So I want to hit Control D, excuse me, D, just D, and that will uh, fill the uh, the default color, uh, which is black for the uh, foreground and white for the background. I want to hit X, we'll switch those around, and now I want to hit Control Delete, and that fills the uh, layer there with the the black the black background color all right so let's go up to layer one we'll click that and now i want to uh give the 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 vintage effect to this design so i'm going to click the layer mask and now i want to alt click on the uh, thumbnail for the layer mask and that'll open that up so now you just want to navigate to your vintage effect. Um, I've got one opened up here. This is a free one that we have available on our website. Just head on over and uh, download it for free. So you want to hit Control A and that will select everything and then Control C to copy it. Go back over to the design and hit Control V. That'll paste that in there. And um, these are all high resolution designs, the vintage effects takes up quite a bit area there uh, check them out on our website this is the uh, old-school cracked plastisol ink Let's scale that down a little bit more move it over just uh, do it from up top so let's say 55 There you go. So now we've got that um, filling the the whole area of the canvas. I'm going to apply that. And so now you just want to click the uh, layer thumbnail for the actual design. And there you have it, man. So now you can see uh, the design has that vintage and worn effect. Um, you can always uh, turn off the visibility of layer 2. You can ex export this as a PNG and then upload it. Uh, we've got this design on Amazon Merch. I like to make passive income with our designs. Uh, that's just something else you can do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the color separation now. So let's open up the channels panel. And let's select the first color. Now, if we were printing this on a black shirt, we w wouldn't need to uh, do the separation for the black. We would just do white and red. Um, but let's say we we're printing this on a gray shirt. So we'll go ahead and uh, do the sub separation for the uh, the black in there too. So I'm going to go up to select color range. Now you want to uh, click the invert. I already had that done. So and right now um, looks like it's pretty much all filled in. So I'm going to back this fuzziness slider. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Let's say right about there. Now we're going to save that selection as a new channel. Hit Control D. Take a look at that. I'm going to double click that uh, layer thumbnail there. Change this to a spot color. Let's make it white. Let's say the solidity about 90%. You're going to do print flash print on a manual for this white. Click OK. Now I'm going to um, create another channel. Let's make the color of this one gray. Say we're going to print it on a gray shirt. Name this one shirt color. So now I'll turn on the visibility of the uh, the white channel there. There you have it. So now you've got that um, color pulled, and um, you can now put this to a, a film positive. Let's go up and select the the other two colors in the design. Select color range. 
get the red back that up a little bit more now it's selected save selection as new channel and I'm going to uh, the foreground color here that's the actual red that we had uh, in the design so I'm going to select this hex code control C double click that layer thumbnail spot color and hit control V and that'll paste that color in there so now I'm going to collect or select the color libraries and that is going to uh, Photoshop's telling me that the closest Pantone color is 187C go ahead and click OK uh, right now if we were to print this with no white underbase we'd be looking at about 5 to 10 percent opacity so let's just change this to 5 alright so now I'm going to hit control D that's going to deselect now let's uh, go ahead and do the black if we were printing on a black shirt we wouldn't need this uh, the black in this but just for the for the sake of it let's uh, say we're printing on a gray shirt save selection as new channel spot color pull that all the way down in the corner where it's black and then uh, Photoshop automatically changes the channel option name to black there. Let's say this would be 100% black. Click OK. Control T. So now I'm going to turn on the shirt color. I've got the black that's on. I'm going to turn on the white and then the red. Um, but if we were to print this, you know, on a gray shirt with no white underbase uh, for that red, uh, it looked pretty muted might not even be able to see it so I'm going to duplicate that channel and we'll just call this color red turn off these other ones now I'm gonna hit uh, control and click the uh, thumbnail for that channel now I have that selected so now basically I want to um, choke this red back a little bit before I apply it to the underbase that way the underbase isn't peeking out and the red just prints on the underbase falls off nicely onto the shirt and uh, hides the underbase right there so I'm going to go edit stroke and so now um, since this is a film positive think of white as being clear um, you just you can't see it so if I'm applying white stroke to this channel then basically I'm just applying more clear I'm applying the uh, the film positive clearness of it, so won't be anything there. Um, let's make this three pixels. Click OK. Hit Control D. Hey, there you go. So now you can actually we'll be able to tell right now. So I'm going to turn on the uh, the visibility visibility of the, uh, the the red. See that. See the difference there so that that brighter red is uh this red here the darker red is where uh, both channels are turned on and it's making it a little bit darker there so now let's apply that red the copy of the red excuse me to the uh the white underbase so i'm going to click on the channel for the white underbase click image apply image and uh Changes channel to red. There you have it. So another thing we could do is kind of mess with the uh, the opacity here. Let's say we wanted it to be muted red. Um, let's make it fifty percent. So now uh, I'm applying fifty percent of that red channel to the uh, the white underbase. Click OK, and we'll turn off this red. So as you can see. Um, where it's dark, that's where the, the red ink is falling off of the underbase onto the shirt. So that's why it kind of looks like that. And you don't have to worry about the underbase peeking out. So I'll turn off the visibility of the, uh, the red channel there. And then take a look up here in the info panel. So when I hover over uh, where the underbase is going to be under the red, it's saying 50%. So that means if we were to print this, print this out, it's going to be 50% there, so that's going to be half tones. If we are using a rip, definitely want to make sure you're using a rip. Um, 
and that's it man so now we've done the color separations and um we can uh i'll put this to a film positive so let's go ahead and do that and i'll show you what it will look like with 50 percent right there actually one more thing i'm going to do i'm going to add black let's just make this like all one color print but since i'm going to uh, add just a little bit of black all this will be half tone in that area so let's go to image apply image change this channel to black let's uh let's say it was 10 percent click ok and that's it so now if you hover over to where the black is look up there in the info panel it's saying 10 percent so now let's just output this uh channel right here right now to a film positive that way you can take a look click file print and so now we're printing to a uh, Epson P800, but we are first sending it to Accurib, and Accurib is converting it to the halftones and sending it over to the printer. Color handling, make sure you collect choose separations. We're not able to choose separations yet. It's okay. Let's go back. Let's delete these RGB channels. Turn that off. Okay. Now let's try it again. File print color handling there we go separations so let's click print and we'll send this over to the uh the printer